El Grey Dulce de Leche. End and Salomon XT6 Collab Dark Truffle. I really love the shoes! End and Salomon XT6 collab dark truffle. In my opinion, this has got to be the best Salomon XT6 colorway out there right now. This has got to be it. Comment down below if you're a Salomon fan, if you've ever owned an XT6. What's your favorite XT6 colorway or a Salomon collab? What's your favorite Salomon shoes? This has got to be it for me, man. For a food lover like me, who loves truffles as well. Oh, wow, this is an insane beautiful shoes aesthetic wise color blocking i mean it's not complicated but it just works i love it you have the tpu upper of a salomon xt6 mesh and all that tpu film for that protection for your upper it's an xt6 gotta have that quick lacing system right there i love that enclothing truffle marbling pattern on that insole that is really nice detail to these shoes i'm just like i'm just really trying to process this all like how beautiful this shoes is you have that like you know, the traction outsoles for that rugged outdoor environment it's a trail running shoes over the years has been worn also as a lifestyle shoes for urban settings right i love that brown green beige color blocking going on i love i really love black uppers and then a, a, like a lighter midsole sort of like color, like beige, white generally. I love having a lighter midsole to contrast a darker upper. I really love the shoes. I love how it's very off-white, it's very beigey, so that over time, it's not gonna look old. All right, enough talking. Let me take this on real life filters. Without further ado, let's go. <laughs> Right now, I'm at Two Creeks Trail. It's around the Linfield area here in Sydney. It's north of the Harbour Bridge, if you know, from around town. Let's talk about the stability of the XT6 Dark Truffle. It's just like any other XT6. The only difference is that it's a truffle colorway and you're walking on trails, hiking, running on trails in style. It really keeps your feet locked in. Some people say that the XT6 is too snug. You go half a size up, whatever. Look, my true size is US 6 mints and my feet is slightly on the wide side. This is my second XT6 and I've gone true to size with US 6 mints and it's perfect. The entry, it is quite snug, but once you wear it for like a few seconds, even like up to a minute, feel that it will start to hug around your feet like a glove, especially with different versatile terrains. It will keep your feet safe and stable. The traction logs in this are pretty decent. It's not the most aggressive, but it's, just, it's perfect for light trails in my opinion, you know? I can't really speak on behalf of those people that go on really aggressive trails, but on the ones that I've been on, it's perfect. I like it. I don't feel I'm ever gonna like slip or whatever. That's the main thing. Like out of 10, if I'm gonna rate the stability for this, I'd say a good 8.5 to nine. That's really good. But right now, let me just take you to a new-ish cafe that's open in the Crow's Nest area. Keep watching because I'm gonna talk about more about the upper and comfort of the midsole.
after that hike, you need a nice cold drink. Oh man, it's a little bit floral, really, really fruity. No doubt, because the cold brew today is from Ethiopia. Flat white, really light roasting. I love it. I love my light roast. I love light to medium roast. I'm here at Layers Patisserie in Crow's Nest. Possibly one of my most favorite pastry cafes in all of Sydney right now. I like that it's greasy. Yo, if your croissant ain't leaving grease marks in a paper bag, that's not a croissant, man. It's gotta be buttery like this. El Grey Dulce de Leche. Pastry is amazing, flaky, puffy. Lamination, again, on point. Very light Dulce de Leche flavor. A lot of floral notes in that. If your feet is somewhere from narrow to slightly on the wide side, you can go through the size with this. Very comfortable upper, and just like most XT6, it's got a TPU upper, so it protects you from all that abrasion, from all the scratching, when you're out and about in the bush. Cold brew, Ethiopia, natural. I love natural in general because you just get more flavor out. In my opinion, you get like a bit more raw flavor come from it. Like this is like, I can taste the guava notes in it. So right now I'm at Adder Coffee. So yeah, Adder Coffee is like right outside. Like it's a, it's a coffee stand right outside Melo. Uh, if you like beans, Japan, Melo is kind of like that. So not only are the Salomon XT6 used a lot for trail running, but nowadays in the last few years, it's being used a lot as casual shoes in urban settings. Not only are they made for trail running, but it's being used a lot in the streetwear scene, in street fashion. Although the Contra Grip outsole is solid enough, it gives you like a, on urban settings, it feels a bit more firm, but the EVA midsole gives you enough cushion to give you like a comfortable, where when you're walking on urban settings on concrete not, not only is it nice in the outdoors not only is it nice out in nature but even in the city in urban settings in a concrete jungle it looks so lit man it looks amazing it slaps anyway thanks for tuning in hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please hit that like button and smash it if you want to do not forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and please hit that notification bell so that you're updated with all my videos i'll see you in the next video until then peace much love i'm out